is Mark. Mark. Hi there. I can't Hi even there. be annoyed anymore. Just... I had to change the batteries in Wally's automatic feeder. That goddamn dog. I need to take care of him. Why doesn't he take care of himself? He's a he's a dog, not a cat. He's not. You know, he's not the brightest dog. Why? That's true. Yeah, I think he's actually the dimmest dog. All right. Anyways, almost time for the debate. Yeah, we've got we've got all our stuff ready. Our campaign stuff. You got that all situated. Yeah. All right. Hey, has anyone seen Sean? He didn't come back home last night. Uh, no, I I haven't seen I, Sean, I, I actually. Don't, I haven't seen him. Now that I think about it. It's weird. Maybe maybe he was too tired to come drive back and he just parked somewhere and slept. Maybe that, he that's went true. Maybe that's he true. went to the debate hall and slept in his car overnight at the parking lot. That's maybe. probably oh, what he did. So maybe he could be the he first did that. one yeah. there and get everything ready. That, that that could be. That could have happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh well. I'm sure nothing bad happened to him. Nah, he, he's nah. just a tired old man. Yeah, no one would hurt Sean. No one. I don't know why anyone would hurt Sean. And Marie is locked up. Yeah, she is. Good. Good. Oh, like she's getting out of there. Yeah, I don't I heard it's like a grade four prison. Yeah, that's a pretty, pretty secure prison. All right. Well, we should all head out, get everything set up for the debate and whatnot, practice our talking points, that sort of stuff. Yes, we should. All right, let's go. Yeah. Fire Chief, he's awake. I can say he's doing well, I guess. Sean, how do you feel? I feel awful. What is awful? Explain it to I me. I have this pain where my stomach is. Sean, you were stabbed in your stomach. What? You were stabbed in your stomach. Yes, I know, and it hurts. I stabbed you in your stomach. That's why your stomach hurts. Yes, I know, it hurts. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about it. What you do you just... mean? Don't you have pain medicine? We just ran out. We just ran out. Oh, God damn it. Oh, and my shoulder, my shoulder got sliced too. That hurts real You're all bad. stitched up where you need to be, but we don't have any pain relievers, unfortunately. Oh, oh this is the worst. We can uh. write you a prescription. Don't you just have... Why can't you have pain medicine on hand? Because I'm a doctor. You can Not a pharmacist. Yeah, at the hospital. You can give that out. That's uh, true. Uh, what? Either way, you're being released today. What do you mean? You have a debate to do, Sean. Oh, yeah. Do you Wait, I thought we couldn't let them out today. Isn't, doesn't his stomach need to realign? I, I suppose and, it needs one more day. That, yeah. Doesn't it? Didn't he lose a lot of that stuff in there, including some some of the stomach acid? Oh, yeah. He, he, Sean, that, that unfortunately, has to be you can't go to your debate today. What? I need to go there. I need you to prove my voice. You can't go to your debate today. I need to go there or else they might kick me out of the race. Sean, if you go, you might die. I'm not going to die. I'm perfectly fine. That's what as all the dead anything. people said before they died. That's true. Also, I, was, I just came here to make sure you were... Still good, because I'm the fire chief. Well, thank you for coming. You're welcome. Now, I hope they catch the criminals that did this to you. That's true. They need to be eradicated. Uh, yeah. My crazy ex-wife and a little rat henchman tried to kill me. Sean, Sean, you sound like you have straining breaths. I'm I... going to need you to... I'm going to need you to rest. Fire Chief, we, we need to him, go. Should we put him back under? We should, yes. 
What? No, no, I I'm barely put you under again. You're going, you're being too stressed. You're stressed out. Goodbye, Sean. Goodbye, Sean. What? I need to get the- God damn it. Why did you run away like that? He hurt my little... feelings! That doesn't even matter. You are a haunted criminal. You've lived on the street your whole life. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just wasn't insulted that much. Anyhow, I have a plan, and it involves you. Me? Yep. <sighs> There's an old man that works at the town hall reception. You need to just lie to him and take his spot. I think he's demented, so you have a pretty easy time. Oh, all right. That's and easy. then I'm going to call the reception booth and say I'm filling in for Sean at the debate because he asked me to. Oh, okay. And then I take his spot in the race and I attend the debate instead. Okay. With him hospitalized, there's no way they'll let him go to the debate. Oh, no. Those to these toilet knives absolutely screwed him. Got that from the toilet. God damn, that's gross. Well, you just dropped them in the sewer water. That's fine. I know. Oh, we don't even need these. We can no. leave them down here. We don't need oh, to kill right. anyone anymore, I don't think, right? We don't need to kill anybody. The town hall opens at 8.30. 8.30, right. Let's say about 10 o'clock we enact this. All right. I'm gonna go back to some place that has a phone, probably the public library. Yeah, be, just be careful out there, cause the police are looking for of us. Course. I'll I'll call in. You know the you know what to do. Yeah. All right. Um. Oh yeah, I can get to the city hall through the system anyway. All right, I'm going. Stuart. Yeah. Yeah. Are you working your main yes, desk today? Yes, I'm working today. Oh, great. Yeah. You're my favorite work buddy. That so I'm glad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Let's just just sit here and wait for either people to come in it's or. It's gonna be a slow calls. day. Yeah. The debates today. You oh. heard that? All the people are gonna be going and watching that. So I don't think we we'll have to do much today. Probably not. Ah, man, these darn glasses. Yeah, you need a new, you need a new croaky. Yeah, I do. Oh, man. Uh, uh, hello, gentlemen. I will be taking your shifts today. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. You're a new guy? Yeah, uh, they told me to come up here and take your shifts. Oh, hi, oh, kind Barry. of you, Barry. All right. Let's go hit Conchico Country Club. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All Thanks, right. Barry. Yeah, no, no problem, uh, uh, Stu and Ron. Yeah. Hello. Thank you for calling City Hall. How may I help you today? I have, uh, some information about the debate. My ex-husband kindly bailed me out of jail and gave me the honor of running for him on his behalf. Despite everything we've been through, I mean, he's really just let me have this opportunity. So if you could kindly please enter that into the system. Alright, ma'am. I can arrange that for you. Are you aware of what time the debate is today? Yes, I know what time it is. Thank you. Alright, sit that down. And, uh... Into that, into the computer. Enter. All right, that's in there. Well, those old men are supposed to be here working, but I told them to go, so I'm just gonna flip the close sign on the front door. Hello and welcome to the mayoral debate. I am your moderator. The Honorable Judge Hasselhorst. We are currently still waiting on one more candidate to arrive for the debate. So in the meantime, we will cut to commercials until that candidate arrives. Oh no! The debate's gonna start soon without me! Oh god! Damn it, I'm in so much pain, but I have to get there. All right, Sean, let's do it. Uh, uh, uh. All right.
right, sitting up, sitting up. Let's turn. Oh, the shoulder, the shoulder. All right, let's hop out of bed. Okay, let's get moving out of this hospital room. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> You'll get back here, I swear to God. Sure, get back in your bed. All right, I'll go. Uh, 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 but, uh, excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Uh, do I do I know you from somewhere? Maybe my husband is in the race, <laughs> but he bailed me out and told me to race in his spot because. <laughs> He was hospitalized. Hmm, I'm not 100% sure. Let me I'm, call my I'm supervisor. Not you. <gasps> Officer Kristen! Jesus. <coughs> what in tarnation do you want from me now? You keep bothering me all the Crammed and you don't know nothing. What do you want? Um, does this lady look familiar to you in any form? Mm, well, let me see. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, no, I, I don't. I don't recognize her. Are you sure? Cause we had a prison break. Last night, and maybe she's one of the inmates? No, no, no. If she was an inmate, she would have had the orange jumpsuit, all right? I was bailed by my husband. Oh, that makes it. You were bailed. All right, that's why you don't have to judge it. All right, yeah, she's that's clean. Why. She's clean. Oh, all right. Uh, what were you here for again? I'm here to check into the mayoral election. It's supposed to be Sean running, but he was hospitalized, and now I need to take over. Oh, dear. That's not good. Uh, are you running in his place? Is yes, that... I am. Oh, and you're here for the bait. Oh, I, shoot. I yeah, need you, to get in there You're going to get on soon. All right. Go, go ahead, ma'am. Go Thank ahead. you. Hello, and welcome to the Puppet Kingdom 2023 first mayoral debate. We have our candidates, Ralph St. Pierre, Mr. Monk, Sean, and Edward Pirate. Is that correct? I guess that's correct. Anywho, we shall formally begin the debate. Uh, Sean? Where is Sean? Hello? Where is he? Where is he? Wait, I'm filling in for Sean. He was hospitalized by a gas station last night. And he was rushed to the hospital. He bailed me out of jail and said to take his place in the race. Oh dear, how how unfortunate. Well, um, okay, so you are running in this place. All right, get up on stage, quickly, quickly. We have to get this going. We have been delayed far too long. Psst, Mark. Hey, hey, what? Marie is here. What? Where? Over, over there by the horse. What the hell? Why is she here? She's supposed to be in jail. I know. I. Why was. Why was she bailed out? I. I have no idea. Why would Sean do that? I don't know. Something's fishy. But I think we'll have a good chance in this debate. Because. Marie doesn't know what Sean plans to do. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. And that'll embarrass Marie, and then she won't get elected, and one of us will. Yeah, yeah.
but Sean is in the hospital, she said. Yeah, I, I wonder what happened. You know, well, I hope he's going to be okay. And I guess since he's out of the race now, we're going to have to step it up. Yeah, we're going to have to step it up real big. Those are some big shoes to fill in. Yeah, all right. Um, I think we're going to start soon. Let's get back to our podiums properly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so the first question I have for the candidates is, what are your plans for the city? And I will start with the incumbent, Ralph. Uh, well, you see, folks, uh, well, I've done some good things, a lot of good things. You know, I run the bank, it helps you get your money, and I've siphoned some money from our budget into the school systems to help with the music, the, the music classes, and the band, and that stuff. And, um, uh, yeah, you know, I, I do a lot of good things, all right? The things that I've done, you can look up on the, uh, uh, city website. Yeah. B basically, just look at that, and that, that tells you what, what I have planned for the future. Uh, but, Ralph, that was, I liked your answer, but that was not. What I particularly asked for, I asked you what you have planned for the future, not what you have already done. So, Ralph, what what are your plans for the future of the kingdom? Ralph, thank you, thank you, you going to do? What am I supposed to say to that? Come on, look around, let's see, stay there, look at it. What does that got say? Okay, I'm just gonna say with the glasses. That'll be a good answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, um, nine eleven. I, I am having trouble interpreting your answer. Maybe you have a planned event to dedicate some sort of thing on, uh, 9-11. Um, uh, let, let, let's move on. Uh, Mr. Monk, what do you have planned for the future of the kingdom? Okay, well, all right, let me ask the audience a couple questions, and then you'll get my answer. All right, people in the audience, how many of you have pets? Show your hands, raise your hands. All right, that's quite a few of you. Now, how many of you pay absolutely egregious prices on pet food, pet toys, and pet medication? Basically, anything for pets. Yeah, that's, that's quite a lot of you. All right. Well, I'm sick of that, right? We're all sick of that. So I plan to lower the cost of taking care of pets, veterinary bills, all that, and also lower taxes in general. Well, as a horse myself, I do like those ideas. Lowering taxes, lowering veterinary bills, that makes a whole lot of sense to me, and that sounds like a good first step in the right direction. Okay, um, that's not Sean. Marie! What are your plans? Uh, well, I've got a few things in mind, I, I think. Um, one of them would probably be to increase the speed limit on every road by five miles per hour so then we can get to and from places quicker. Um, number two, Increase the amount of units in public transportation. We need more buses on the roads that are going to be faster and nobody's going to be anticipating. Um, lastly, I'm going to put a mandate on cigarettes. Everyone who lives in the kingdom is mandated to smoke at least one cigarette per hour. Um, I'm not sure how that will do for 
our safety and overall health. But the the voters will decide on that one. I I don't have any answers for that. Okay, last person, Edward. What are your plans for the future of the Puppet Kingdom? Ah, uh, well, first of all, I'd like to lower taxes. I hate taxes. I know all you people out there hate taxes. And it's not like the kingdom spends all our money on good stuff. They just ship all that money out to other kingdoms who supposedly need money to help fund their own kingdoms and their health care and their wars and all that garbage. But most importantly, I'd like to lower taxes on oil and gas. Because I dr uh, drive a lot and I spend a lot of money on gas and oil to heat up um, my house. And it's just so expensive. So yeah, I'd like to lower a crap ton of taxes and keep all our tax money from the public kingdom in our kingdom and reinvest in our community. Well, those that seem like some good plans to me. I don't like paying a bunch of heat to my home and paying a bunch of money to fuel up my car. And also reinvesting in the community is always a good thing. Those are all very good ideas. Okay. Moving on to the next question. Oh, oh, oh. Where did I leave my card of questions? Hmm. Uh, we will be going on a short commercial break until I find the questions. Uh. Vegemite. Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, I need to get in there right uh, now. Yeah, sure. Uh, who are you? I, I'm Sean. I'm one of the candidates are running for mayor, and I'm extremely late. Um, I don't know how to tell you this, but all the candidates are already in there. What? What do you mean all the candidates are in there? Well... Who's uh, in my spot? Your, your, your wife. What? Your my wife? wife? I did! said that she was you know, filling in because you bailed her out. No, that's not true. I didn't bail her out. She escaped from prison last night. Uh, I, I, I just... That's just what's marked down for me. That's not... That is not true. You have to uh, let me in there. I am the real candidate. I did not make her the candidate. You had to let me in there. I, I don't think I can do that. You have to... I'm the one actually running for that. She literally stabbed me at the gas station. I've been in the hospital. I just left there. They just released me. I have to get in there for the debate before she ruins my candidacy. Yeah, well, uh, can you wait, like, 15 minutes? Oh, uh, wait for what? My supervisor. Oh, great. Fine. Get your supervisor. I'll wait here. <sighs> great. Just great. Bloody supervisor. Now, <laughs> oh, there's the supervisor. Talking to each other. Bobby won't let me in because they think I'm crazy. Oh, all right. You're good to go. What? I'm good? Yeah. Oh, go thank ahead. God. Thank God. Let me in there. I got to save my candidacy for me. Welcome back, everyone. I have found my cue cards. My cue cards? No, question cards. And... I now have the second question here. So I will ask Ralph the second question. The second question is, how do you foresee your changes impacting the kingdom? Now, well, you see, I think my plans are good because uh, if you look on the city website, you see, you've seen what I've done to help improve the music programs in the schools and, and all the other stuff, you know. I, I, I know that's pretty good for the city, you know. I don't think I really need to do anything new, you know. And, I, and then I saw uh, on online, I saw this on uh, you, YouTube, yeah, YouTube, whatever that means. And there's, there's, 
So it's his grandson and, and his grandpa, you know, and grandpa tells him that they don't don't put the popcorn in the microwave. It doesn't cook it right. It's gonna burn it. Whatever. And then and then grandson say, Okay and then and then he puts the popcorn in the microwave and 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 then grandpa has a heart attack or something because apparently the microwave is hooked up to his heart monitor and the microwave has too much voltage or whatever, higher voltage than the heart monitor, you know. And, he, and grandpa falls on the floor and he has a heart attack and whatever. And then they call the, call the police or 911 or whatever to help him. Or well, I think he gets back up, I don't know. Um. Well, okay, I understood the first part of your answer where you didn't really need to change anything because you think what you have done is good for the future and will continue to be good. Uh, all right, uh, moving along. Uh, Mr. Monk, how do you foresee your changes uh, doing good for the kingdom? What do, you, what do you think the impact will be on that? Well, I... I think my changes for the veterinary stuff and the lowering of taxes will help bring economic boosting into the kingdom. You know, people will be spending less on pet on their pets' needs and more on other things in the kingdom. You know, like investing in stocks and buying groceries, all the other stuff, you know, and lowering the taxes, that'll be good. Because that way the money will be sent into the right places and not outsourced to other places that don't really need our money and they can fund it themselves. You know, I I think that's really good. So I, I believe that my changes will have a good impact on the kingdom and for years to come. Oh, very good, very good. I'm glad you are confident in your uh, plan. Moving on, uh, Edward, how do you think your changes will impact the future of the kingdom? Well, I think the lowering of the oil and gas taxes will have significant economic impact for the good of the kingdom. Because that way, uh, the people will be driving around more and heating their homes up in the winter more. Because it's going to be less money, you know. And then that money that they save is going to go elsewhere and benefit the kingdom in many other ways. And just lowering all those other taxes in general will do the same thing and make sure all that money is staying right here in this kingdom. The puppet kingdom. The only puppet kingdom. No other puppet kingdom, no other kingdom, no other country, no other city, no other nothing. Very good, Edward. I think your changes will also have significant good for the kingdom. Okay, Marie, how do you feel your changes will impact the future of the puppet kingdom? Well, I'm very glad you asked because I think that everyone in this kingdom would just do so much better with a big cloud of smoke in their mouth. I think that everybody would just have such a time if they had a cigarette pressed against their lips right now. Think about how much better it would be if this whole building was coated in disgusting tar residue because of everyone smoking in it. I mean, it's just glorious. I would love to have everyone smoking. Then I don't have to pay as much. Oh, hold on, just a minute. Hold on. I am Sean. I am actually running. I did not put Marie in my place to run for mayor. She stabbed me outside Mr. Mike's gas station after I used the jaws. She stabbed me in the stomach and then her accomplice, that little washed up roadkill rat, stabbed me in the shoulder. They tried to kill me and Marie could run for mayor and be mayor instead of me, Sean. She also escaped from prison with the washed up roadkill rat. And the people that broke out 
They are the ones behind this whole catastrophe involving me. So, Marie, you better get packing, because the police are going to be on your jail. Everyone, I, Sean, am okay. I was uh, released, released from the hospital with no outlying issues. And I can say that I am in perfect shape to run for mayor and be a proper candidate. I am so sorry that I could not be here on time for the debate, but as I just told you, Marie literally tried to murder me. Holy fish paste! This has taken quite a dark and disturbing turn. Marie, I don't even know how you were able to get in here. I, this is preposterous. This is outrageous. Security! Security! Uh, uh, yes, get yes, up yes. on that stage and arrest that woman oh, oh, right yes, now. Yes, go! Yes, sir. Go! Yes, sir. Go! Right go! Yes. Arrest her now! Right away, sir. None of that is true, okay? None of that. I did not do such a thing. Sean is just being dramatic and pathetic as always. Think about the entire fishing incident, for Christ's sakes. All he, that only happened because his ass didn't know how to swim. And he, it wasn't me. It was all the rest. All right, all right, ma'am, ma'am, ma ma calm down. We're under arrest. No, this is You're not under arrest. This is your be Ma'am, you're under arrest. You're under arrest. You this go, isn't fair. You're going I need my pack. pack. You're going straight to prison. I need another pack. No. Oh, good lord. Well, I think that is the end of this debate. Thank you all for watching. Thank you, audience. Thank you, audience, for coming out. Uh, we all appreciate it. Um, the election will be soon. So uh, vote for who you think will be best to serve as the mayor. The next mayor of the Puppet Kingdom, and, uh, yes, can we end the broadcast? Can it? Dale! Dale, wake up! Dale, wake up! Dale! Dale! Wake up! What? What? Do we have some serious news? Oh my news, god, there serious is so news much right news to be Okay, said. okay, listen, listen, all right. So, oh, what the hell? Oh, what yeah, is Listen, it? listen. Okay. Get yourself together, soldier. I'm listening. Get yourself together. Listen. Are you falling awake now? <sighs> yeah. Okay, what okay. is it? So, let's. If you, you, you know why Sean didn't come home? You know how Sean didn't come home yesterday, last night? Uh, yeah. After I do, he actually. went out to the gas yeah, station? Right. Yeah. I was stabbed. You what? I was stabbed by Marie and the stupid rat. You're... Are you pulling my leg? No, no, no. No, I'm not pulling my leg. You can look at my shoulder and my stomach. There's giant scars from the poop knives. Poop knives? Yeah, they use like... Dirty toilet knives. Yeah, yeah. That is a low yeah. blow. Yeah, low, well, we, well, we know. It was horrible. I was hospitalized. And then Marie, like... Lied that I was on bail, mm -hmm. or lied that she, I gave her bail, yeah. and then she, yeah. she impersonated me at the debate. Yeah, she what went on hell? stage and claimed that Sean gave her permission to fill in as the candidate did, for mayor, and bailed her out, and all that, and somehow, somehow, made it past security. How did she get away with all this? Oh, she I have did. no idea. <sighs> Nobody knows. Yeah. Jesus. You know, she did after she was found out, because Sean luckily was able to get in and uh, tell the people what was really going on. Great Neptune. And say, like, basically, after Marie was taken off the stage, that that was the end of the debate. It was over before I even got to say anything. Unfortunately, yeah. I don't know oh, if I'm there's going to be Sean. another debate, but, yeah. <sighs> Well, yeah. well, all I, I can really do is hope that one of you three wins. Yeah, well, I... <laughs> Good. Ow!
But I swear. What happened to the light? That damn dog had it. That's why. Stupid dog! I uh, know. Stupid boy. I thought I said it straight with him, not the chew You've on the palate. You've really got to get him puppy trained. And I think I'm going to have to now, and I'm going to have to go stop him again before he might electrocute himself. Oh, hey. Jesus. You better get that solved. God damn. <laughs> Wallet! Wallet! Why are you chewing on the power cord? <laughs> I no! Stop it! I never thought I'd have to say this to you, Wallet, but you're being a bad dog! Bad dog! No eating the wires! Or the power cords or anything they're not supposed to! Bad dog! Oh, power's back uh, on! Thank God! That's good. Anyways... Stop him from chewing on the wire. I, I'm pretty... I'm pretty certain that all three of you are gonna have a pretty high chance of winning. Oh yeah, anyway, as we were yeah, saying, it's before be the power good. went kaput... They really seem to like your argument, Edward. Yeah, surprisingly. I didn't think many other people thought that my ideas were good, but um, I think our chances are significantly higher than they were before, because Ralph was like, I don't even know what. He was more really? out of it than I am when I'm completely drunk on gas and oil. Yeah, he was really, he was rambling about, about this, uh, some random video on the internet about this grandpa and their uh, grandson, and this microwave, and popcorn, what and heart the, monitor, all of that. What the barnacles? Yeah, I, I don't even know. Nobody it was a, even knows what that is. Yeah, I don't know. It was a pure oh, Biden moment. God. Pure Biden moment. All right. Well, I'm tired, everyone. Yeah, I'm, I'm tired. I'm gonna go um, to we're, bed. We're glad you're okay. You get some more rest and recover. I will. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Well, well, you can go back to sleep wherever you want. Probably here. All right. Now, we're, good night. We're gonna we're gonna go to bed. Yeah, it's late. It's late. May I have the next three officers outside my office in my office now? Y yes, uh, Chief Goodman. What is that, uh, sir? So, I was watching the mayoral debate today. Right, right, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. And yeah. apparently, someone was arrested on stage. Yeah, uh, um, it was this woman, um, she escaped from the prison and was impersonating one of the candidates. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, she, you're the least I'm mad at, okay? You, oh, sir, right, sir, you, sir, did your job good. But I still want you to be here to witness these other two boneheads. Why, oh, thank you, sir. Bone, boneheads. Who are you calling boneheads? Who are you calling boneheads? I'm calling you two boneheads because you two did not properly search for the suspects that escaped prison last night. Nah! I thought we did. Uh, yeah, sir, I thought we did a good uh, we, Well, uh, clearly, you did not, because, because that woman was able to get on the stage and so somehow fill in for this Sean person. Sir, sir, she had a really good alibi, sir. It was very believable. I it was am hard not. To tell from I my am not gonna take these excuses, Officer Christian. I made you supervisor in the prison. All right, and you failed to do your job, sir. I I can totally explain. It was, I, I take full responsibility of this tragic event. It's not that's not that's not good enough. Shields, Officer Shields, yeah, you yeah, yeah. are now the new supervisor uh, of the prison. Why, thank you. And these two are uh, going to be working sir, in the I'm police. Gonna, sir, I'm going to go excuse myself to the restroom. Oh, sir, I, Officer Shields, I need to tell you what they're going to do. Oh, 
Yes. These two are going to be the ones cleaning up the bathrooms and the showers in the prison. Oh, wonderful. Oh, really, sir? Sir? Hey, you too. You too. Yes? Yeah, yeah. why? Right. Good luck. Sir, sir, please. Oh. Sir, I can... I, sir. I take full responsibility. Sir, I will never, ever let this happen again. That is not good enough for me. You know how I am and how it comes to the rules and doing your jobs. So you better get your asses down to the prison and start cleaning. Yeah, sir, yes, sir. 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 Yes, sir.